well, the stream has just begun. How's everybody doing tonight? So we just got to the honeybee inn. Or not. Yeah, the honeybee. And we're fixing to take part in a fighting tournament to get Aerith into save Tifa. That's where we left off last night. And we're just going to continue on now. I think I've got everything pretty well set. Yeah, everything looks to be good. So, let's swap everything over to the game. And let's see what other events transpire. We're on chapter 9. Everyone's doing fantastic tonight. I know I've had a pretty good day. It's unfortunate all my ice has apparently melted in my mug that I've got. Yeah, I don't have enough money to buy anything at all. Okay. Damn, Eric. Destructive armor. <laughs> Johnny, you poor sod. Oh, <laughs> God. You again. Ouch! What happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Yeah. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Sorry, bud, but I don't Please think we're quite on your level. The gate. Not in that way. You're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. I don't think I'm too worried about that. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! Well, this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! I need to do my hair like that, dude. Get ready. Can you 
Cute. Win thing. What a completely unexpected turn of events! Pretty sure he's dead. I want to do it again. Well, that's one win down. Go team. Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match. Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Uh, There's cloudless by my logic. Yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. Well, that was some bullshit. Guess I better start looking for a new job. So, somebody's a sword Guess loser. I better start looking for a new job. Cloud and Aaron. Yeah, let's get it done. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next beginner's luck, you say. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple. We're like a Give it up once again for Cloud and Eris! Couple my ass! What the hell you two try to fall? You hmm. assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah! Good! Yeah. Don't blame me gambling. It's bad for you. Thieves and killers through and through. Two criminal for common criminals. The worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets because they may have already robbed your blind. The most contemptible son of bitches is not a war market. Max Benefit! Contemptible sons of bitches. I'll go figure it'd be these assholes at the end. I know there would be one a one trick pony. Exactly what I'm thinking. You'll feel better in a second. There. I 
Give him a massage, you know. <laughs> His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. You don't say. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. Wait, his name's actually Sam, oh, so yeah. There you go. Sam Elliott. <laughs> One of these days, your luck is going to win out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land. That is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Andy! Oh, looks like I'm fixed to fight a big boss. Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Ah. Let us heal. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. that I need to work on getting that revival material that's probably the next thing I need to work on doing And getting that. Sure, that helped considerably as well. Talk to this sore loser. Just this mean I don't gossip like dead no more? <laughs> Does this mean I don't gossip like dead no more? 
Damn, you two are really something else. I could use that kind of muscle in my game. Poor guys. So hungry. <laughs> Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? Got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling tornado cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the flight! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The that's embellishing slightly. Cloud and Aaron! Yeah! Come on now! Come on! Who can do better than that? And now, five five winners of the Cordeo Cup! Murder machines with countless kills to their name, along with a handful of maimings. The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a bum of engines. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, cutting and sweeping. Come on now. Yike. Okay, so I'm fighting robots. More like Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million bill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins! The Corneo Cup! Okay. Hey, hands off my second waifu. Okay, that, that music's some good stuff. Calling lightning. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Calling lightning. 
that was considerably easier than the last one. My condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. Hmm. I love the fact that he's he sounds like Sam Elliott. Sorry. Madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's. Get you changed. Then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets. Much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice. And only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, oh, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> you greedy bastard, scum sucking piece of shit festering asshole! Uh, oh. But that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, and the crowd will make sure he does. So hmm. this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. This new sword, though. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? Hey, that run. It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far! Cloud and Eric! That music, though. Oh, oh, over here. I wish I had a full soundtrack for this. It is! One of those enemies. I forgot about one of those. It's just a house. It's no ordinary house. The man 
manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar. Have you ever seen a fight more? Wow. More heaven? Okay. They actually you went there. Definitely not a enemy I thought I'd be seeing in this game. Okay. Oh god, I didn't heal from the last fight. Shit! Second wave. Deal with that. I'm coming! Just a little to help. That defeat spinning. Okay, so we are going to sizing up the competition. If those walls can talk, just a method on the nasty things they'd have to say about the opponent. Do your thing. We have to no. gas that wants to check things up a notch. Yeah. But don't get too close. You can't handle his heat. Feel that you. raging fire. Do. What do you think, folks? Cut the hell house weather be inferno! Holy shit! Get 
Second wife food. Up again. Yeah. Oh, I'm 
down for the right cold. Can you hear that, Mister? Air fans are not happy. You okay? Where these chairs come from? Who do they belong to? A heroic move by Eric, as she provides support for her partner! Save for that healing win! Let it wash over you, destroy you inside and out! Bundle up! It's an engineering model! This one is so secure, even the magic bounces is right off! Feel like Gage. It is a real honor to host this grand event. I'll take care of them. Thank you. 
the zoom all I can. I'll show you what I can do. Like I finally staggered it. Thought I staggered it. Ethers. Uh. Someone's getting 
shoot up? Or will the Hell House be kind enough I to keep my sister if I were you? Why don't you lead the way? So 
it's my turn. You can do it. Get him. Don't overdo it. I'll take care of you. Can you take over for me? No. It's on you. I'll take care of them. You can do it. Take it over. Not what I had in mind. Oh no. A heroic move by Eric as she provides support for her partner. See for that real win. We'll let it wash over you, restore you inside and out. Let's do this. We've got a live one here! 
Use your limit. Oh, you know we moved by Eric. And you provide support for her partner. Stay for that deal, anyway. Don't let it wash over you. Restore you inside and out. Did not get any SP out of that. Nice. 
that boy. Awfully rare, you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Quite possibly. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Corneo Coliseum is a venue for ferocious arena battles that takes pl take place day and night. When you want to fight a battle, head to the basement and talk to the staff. Items cannot be used during battle, but HP and MP are slightly restored after each fight. Items cannot be stolen from your opponents. At least win a modicum of money. Uh, not much at all. everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you own. All right. Now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right, then. Let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. You look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Walmart? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment now get out there and show me what you can do with it <laughs> <laughs> and that's enough of that eric come with me oh boy i can't wait to see the dress the dress is part of it sure but we'll also need to do something about that plain jane makeup and hairdo this is gonna take some work ouch no kidding well i'll see you later cloud peek and i'll poke out your eyes Okay, well, since that little diversion is over, I am actually going to pause the stream and go and use facilities. I shall return.
Alright. So, let us continue on. Tifa. I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like... How'd you get so strong anyway, bro? You are I'm really sick. making me regretting. The way you regret fight not killing me. like poetry and violence. Beep, beep, whoosh, whoosh. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart stand-up guy like myself? No. Fuck off and get. Fuck off and die. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there once she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Any, any of my weapons. Yeah, I guess I'll break this for right now. Serious slot. Yeah, that thing doesn't have. I almost got all the efficiencies done with that finally. trouble we can get into. It's alright, it's alright. I was supposed to be here. Just let me through. You again? Got a yeah, letter me. of approval right here. Mm -hmm. You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, the girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, Don. you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Go on, get out of here.
Somehow I'm supposed to go back there. Go on, get out of here. Okay. Triggered the event. Right. All right, you're up. Come on. Yeah. You look fine. She looked better in her other get up. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if there was anything more I could have done with it, but... Doesn't really matter if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. <laughs> see what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Huh? Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? <laughs> it's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh. Come on! Don't you yeah, want to figure out some way to fit this in? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? The audience is part of Come on! Don't you want to see a great show? Good evening. Good Welcome evening. to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. It's okay. 
Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! <laughs> <laughs> Press, some bu press the buttons in time with the music, using the rhythm line as a guide. The colors, the colors and po button positions on the guide panel show you which buttons to press. Watch the button positions closely and get ready to press them when the panel and line are right on top of each other. <laughs> oh. Uh -uh. Okay. Like emo and brooding even when dancing. Just like that. Delicious. Perfection. How no one wants it decapitated. You've got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Let's see if I can do better Take this away, next time. Honey. Didn't exactly know how the timing worked. So, a new dancer's come to town. No, I'm good. I'm hoping to get a trophy come on, for that. Come on. The show's about to start. Oh. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I have no idea. <laughs> you? Well, you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flashing. I don't remember this in the original. <laughs> it's been a while. Though. Oh God. Zeronium, what's up? But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Yeah, I don't know if we're even still playing the same game. I had to do a DDR section just a minute ago. 
Of course, Eris having the time of her life. Think you can follow my lead? This is something, all right. Yeah, I agree. Very... I don't see how this fits in the game, because it's kind of out of character for Cloud. She had a dead too early. can't see the the icons very well. What the? Right towards it. anything quite like this in the original. Probably just some fun minigame they put in extra. Yeah. It's, Honey, it just I'm in love. feels a little out of place. Yes. yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! I mean, not say I didn't enjoy it, it's just... Weird. Hmm. Wait, so are we going to forego? Yeah. Okay. So, how it was in the originals, how you got uh, Chick Cloud? <laughs> this is something that they have changed from the original. How you got Chick Cloud, you had to actually go and get the parts to make the get up. Like you had to go get the wig, the dress, and there was something else you had to get. And this, they're just doing it right here. By the way, how you doing, Benet? Good to see you in the in the chat tonight as well. Andreas earrings of pain. I do like the fact that they kept the original design pretty close. Perfection. True beauty is an expression of the heart. For everyone to see it isn't it's supposed to be a disguise. To which notion Just for Cornero, Cornero, or whatever his name is. He doesn't know what's going on. I guess his 
people under him don't like it. I'm good. How are you tonight? I'm doing quite well. It's <laughs> running. Fabulous! <laughs> I'd hit it. I mean... Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Did you I probably would too. Surprise? Crying game was standing. He's working those heels though. He's cute though. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't get the camera to come down enough where you can see how tall the heels are. I actually tried uh, one of my ex girlfriends' set of heels. Like they were tall, freaking heels. I broke my freaking neck. Heels are hard. I rarely wear them myself. Yeah, like I said, I tried a pair of hers, and it was... It was interesting. I'll just say that. Heels are also horrendously bad for your feet. Yeah, that's the reason why you don't need to wear them all the time. Like, how some women wear them day in, day out is beyond me. It's like I said, I felt like I was going to fall on my freaking face when I tried hers on. And they weren't really that tall. That's one thing I'm kind of sad that they changed how you actually got the parts for it. But I mean, I understand why they did it. It's probably an outdated bit of game design. But I skipped a lot of the side quests just to, because I thought it was gonna be gathering the parts. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. Got to make it more interactive. Yeah. And I get that, because this, uh, for a lot of people, this will be their first Final Fantasy. The two of so. you here for the audition, second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That was Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Yeah, until the crying game happened. At the end. Keep walking. Is the original turn based? Yes, it's like a. Uh, it's like Final Fantasy X and below. Everything pre Final Fantasy X is all turn based. What's that weird 
that sweet smell. But it had a kind of a twist so on the original. Gas. Come on. Because the the original Final Fantasy VII used a system called the ATB, and the ATB system dictated how quickly your characters got to their turn. Yeah, it is a very cool combat system. Uh, Chrono Trigger actually uses it the same top. Yes. You okay? Mm-hmm. Seven wasn't the first. Chrono Trigger. Good. Final Fantasy VI, Final Wait Fantasy VII. I think eight used the same thing as well. Cloud, is that you? Oh my God, that makeup and that dress. Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Moving on. Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Moving on. I don't want to talk about it anymore. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aaron, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? So. After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Tifa's looking good. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized... Yeah, that dress really brings out her eyes, I'll characters. say that. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here. Right? I'm not trying to sound like a misogynist right. or anything, but... So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, <laughs> Cloud gets me. Took you long Cloud enough. knows what's up. So forgot about the uh, Primero Red this Room. Time. This room gives me the creeps. Audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, God, ladies. Spin machines in odd, everywhere in odd places. All right, convenient. Guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you yeah, want to do this? Very. That's one thing I will say. There's a lot more things like that in this game compared to what the original had. 
so I guess I'm going to have to go around this way. Let's make sure that wasn't an alternate path. Ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Or how they're going to do dawn in this one. Because he was very. You look kind of familiar. We have a. Oh my god! <laughs> no! The Don was very appropriate sleazeball in the original. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Yikes, he's creepy. So far they've done him right because he's he was like that in the original. And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Holy shit! <laughs> Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah. we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. That's exactly what I'm doing. And he did that in the original, too. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh. You're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! And a camera. <laughs> oh god, his belly jiggles so much. What was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Wow. Hey, yo, Just fellas. wow. We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> oh, you stupid! Oh, TLC match! I guess they were into fisting after all. Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. Uh oh. Andrea filled me in on the situation. 
I come bearing gifts with you. Jesus, how are you able to lift that big ass sword? I'm they suck. Clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? <laughs> I find it great that Cloud's got to be rescued from creep. Just walking around a big ass sword in there. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I can understand Cloud being able to wield it like the way he does, but some dude just walking in like it's made out of paper mache. Eh, that's a little hard to believe. One handing it too, exactly. Bet you would. Lucky bastard. I'm fight them. Yep. Show you can. Must be lighter than it appears. Quite possibly. Woo! He was a little beast. There was a secret down here. Open la secret. Made of aluminum. Fury ring. Now I'd say it had to be made of unobtainium. Be that lot. Because even made of aluminum, uh, thing would still be at least a hundred pounds. I mean, at least I would think so. thinking I came out of there. What are you doing here? Hey, I don't know. Get ready. You'll see. You can do it. Okay, let's go. One more shot. Hey. No touchy. I guess now would be a good time to upgrade Tifa stuff. Uh, actually, I'm gonna equip these.
did I put there? Oh, I wanted that. Actually, I'll give that to uh, Aerith doesn't have a free slot. This is more of a magic build. Eh. I should be quite honest, I kind of want to go back to the one she had. The build I'm trying to do with her is more of a... instead because I want I want to get that ability and also I would like to uh, do some more attack power stuff I got everything in that more materia yeah, yeah give me that Sorry, this is probably one of the more boring parts. So that's all Cloud's been doing. He's been slinging insults at the son of a bitch. Hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Sorry, but your you boys rang? had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. Uh -huh. <laughs> About to be the crying game. Oh. Oh. <gasps> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, what did he hope to do just now? Crush him? About avalanche. Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. 
Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all that right. was in the racial too. I remember that. Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> It was the director of public security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, you I'm know. not so sure they are. Forrest, what's I up? Talking. I made a little Lost progress myself. today. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually one of my favorite parts <laughs> in the game. It's going good! How's your night going? <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a second. Making girl. more progress on that spreadsheet. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors. Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. <laughs> It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's been doing. Working on the JRPG for PS4. They wouldn't. Nice. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do. No. Please. Very good. This won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we just so I can see what I'm missing. Winner. Yeah, that's the reason why I use the app on my phone. Sounds Persona 5 is on list. It's solid. Yeah. Why does he have the symbol a coup on his bed? Like that's the same little, same symbol that's on uh, Akuma and Goki's back. Hmm. Never the bride. Hmm. That was an interesting thing to see. Are we on the schedule? Yeah. I really need to get in Persona 5. Yes. It's definitely on my list of things to stream. I just know that'll take a long time. I'll have to do it in sections. I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000. Director Touristy. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> if you are able to see my PS4 well, collection, you can see I have most of the North American releases, not counting the limited run my games. Very nice, very nice JRPG releases. Very surprised we haven't seen the director's son yet. He may not show up till a little later. Later, because I always thought he was cool. I mean, they'll have to put him in here because uh, he does show up on this disc, and he was in Advent Children. Like he was in one. Of the, he was one of the pillar characters in Advent Children. Unless they're retconning Advent Children out, which I highly doubt. Where in the
definitely P5 Royal and Richel box sets are there too. Yeah, I've got the uh, the Take Your Heart edition to P5, and I've got the Royal. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Phantom Thieves edition. If you do end up playing P5, don't shy away from getting Royal. It definitely has enough positive changes to make it the definitive version. Yeah, I've got it. That's I, I was I was actually going to start P5. Uh, around the time that Royal was announced and I decided I'd wait to play Royal because I figured it'd be like P4 Golden to where it just kind of uh, adds a lot more content and just makes it the more definitive version. So that's that's what I actually wanted to do. Let's see if I've got everything there. Yeah. I gotta play on um, Royal Took 120 hours, but I got it. Tifa? Much easier to platinum than OG P5. Oh, you platinumed it. We have to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really platinum games myself. I, I, I play through the main parts of them. You'll understand. I don't. How do you two know each other? I don't have enough time to platinum games her. hardly anymore. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure, there isn't something else going on. A hundred percent of the games I really enjoy. Yeah, same. I try to do that. And obtain one hundred percent. Yeah. Like I would really like to platinum Bloodborne. But that just takes a while because I still got to do the challenge. I've got like three, four trophies left, and they're like the worst ones. I was way off. Five of which were trying to get one RPG achievement. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely got a lot more uh, PS4 games than I do. I don't think I'm even breaking 100 on PS4. Remember this boss. Oh, shit. Alright, Tifa. Assist the situation for me. Went to fire. I have only one platinum. One of the worst. One of the worst PS3 games I ever played. Last, last Rebellion. Not platinum, but that game was trash. Uh, oh, I think I know the game you're talking about. Set play through his resonance of fate. That always looked like it'd be really good. Was, uh... Yeah. 
thing go? There it is. Yeek! No escape. Yeah, do that arcane wood thing on the cloud. Spider-Man 20. I have a few Spider-Man 2018, Horizon Zero Dawn, P5R, and I'm only a few away from Borderlands 2 and Uncharted 2. Very nice. Last Rebellion was a JRPG released by Hitmaker. The company went under because of Last Rebellion. Matter of fact, Nisa has to make an apology statement because of how horrible the game was. I'm trying to place the cover art because. Stay strong, okay? It's your turn. Hang back. That's it. Like I'd know it if I see it. Oh shh. Keep it together. I'll take over. Heal yourself. I was smart I used Ivory. But I haven't been able to use the checkbone bone wiggle. It's a summon yet, so. Hey, what the hell? Just hang on. Go on. 
You've got this. Let's do this. <laughs> to bring them back. Because Ryan, those are some great game choices. I've only had P5, PS5 from that bunch. I did have Horizon Zero Dawn, but I wasn't really feeling that game much, sadly. I did beat Uncharted 2, but saw it after I beat the game. Yeah, I need to go back through and play Horizon Zero Dawn again. I really wanted Horizon Zero Dawn when it came out, but when it, when it was a week before Switch launched. Yeah, yeah, Switch was... Switch was hard to come by around that time, and this is definitely expensive. Eventually got it used for dirt, but it became one of my favorite games of all time. Dude, it is so pretty. It is such a good game. I don't know. Set Mega again. Or cure her, so. Yeah, I need to. No!
Not looking good. Oh, we'll have to use that elixir. That's on me. It's a cross between Breath of the Wild and Monster Hunter, and I love it so much. It's getting a PC port soon, and it's functional. I'm definitely going to beat it again on there. Yeah, from what I understand, the... Uh, PC port coming here soon is probably going to be pretty cool. I would like to actually see that game actually running on hardware further than a console can go. Like PS4 Pro and the like. I think it'd look pretty nice. Actually, gonna do a little something different. Move that. I'll drop that on her. What I'm actually going to do. That is cool. I'm going to actually remove that. Okay. Yeah, it pissed off a lot of PS4 fanboys. Like, I seen the video where Dave was destroying his PS4 because he got ported. It's like, why, dude? Why? Do you need that much more validation in your life that. I mean, it's just. It's stupid. Why is it ever a bad thing for people to enjoy enjoy something? I mean, really and truthfully. However, I'm firmly in the mindset exclusivity is stupid. I mean... On one hand, yes, and on another hand, no. Because we start leaving exclusivity, there's not going to be any, any use for consoles, which is the way we're heading anyway. But, uh, it would be nice if you could actually get like a PC and actually be able to play anything you wanted. Which is what we're going to. That's the reason why I'm not buying the PS5 more than likely a bunch of other stuff, because I can play everything pretty much on PC. Yeah, I'm topped off on everything. I'll just dump money into PC two, three hundred at a time and just Cloud. two, three hundred at a time and just we upgrade a PC. Yeah. I mean, the last bands are generally longer compared to a console. It doesn't go out of date as quickly, let's put it that way. It does, but it doesn't. Even if every Switch game is on PC, I'd still have a Switch. I mean, yeah, I get that. 
The Switch is one of the last actual true game consoles. Game consoles are supposed to be weird and gimmicky and all that. You gotta be kidding me. That's the reason why I was not impressed whenever the original Xbox One came out, because it didn't look anything like a video game console. I mean, look at an Xbox One compared to your, like, Super Nintendo. Like, games, game consoles have a certain aesthetic to them, compared to Here everything we go. else. You bet. Bring it on. I mean, even the PS4, I mean, it didn't look great, but it looked better. I love how the dodge is almost non-existent. See how much this cure actually heals for. Oh, it becomes a multi-heal. Whoa! I will say one thing about this game, boss fights or something else. Like, they are very high. You missed, homie! Disastrous it was. Yeah, 
Dude, it was bad. No one. My turn. No one cared. Like it was so terrible. Like I won't lie, I was actually moderately excited for the Xbox One. Oh God, don't stand there, please. Get out of the way. Okay. Now I'm actually going to do this properly and actually summon Ether. Have fun. Also, a hero at E3 who went into the demo hall and shouted Xbox off and several of the demo consoles turned off! I did not know about that. Stay strong, okay? That's, my turn. that's pretty great. And yeah, E3. Should have gone the first time. There it goes. Do you think it lives down here, or it's probably Corneo's pet? We were dinner. <laughs> hey, Aerith? You don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who would make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But... If he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there? Man, this then, uh, this upcoming part is so sad. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Hmm? Uh, Tifa! I knew it. These but yeah. are all connected. I've got an Xbox One what myself. I'm pretty sure we can and I bought it for just a few exclusives with Scott. Seven. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, but just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying. But I've actually, honestly not really played it a whole lot except for like Forza, Forza Horizon 4. Sure we're not lost? Master Chief awesome. Collection, which is now on there Steam. There's a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. I mean, like I said, there's just a handful of games that I got it for. Then I got some 
not exclusive stuff just to go with the console, and I still like it. It just the video quality on that thing is not all that great either, because it's uh, everything just looks so blurry. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Deal with that. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Like, I know I'm playing on a pro right now. I mean that's that's one thing about it, but it's still like the video quality on the Xbox is just not that great. Like it always looks fuzzy to me. So it's my turn? Like right your shot! Yeah. And nothing against anybody that owns an X-Bone, it's just... For about as much or a little more money, you can get a lot better console. Even just a base model PS4 is better. The UI is better. The, uh, the library is... A lot better. I mean, it's just, it's not that great. And I really hate to say that, because I mean, I'm a video game lover through and through, and I love consoles, even the bad ones. They've, they've got their place. But, to me, it's a mediocre console at best. not trying to sound like a fanboy or anything like that, it's just looking at it objectively. In my opinion, it's a mediocre console. I mean, it's not bad like a CDI or a uh, 3DO or anything of that nature. Or, what is it, the Amstrad? There's an Amstrad something that, like, would blow up. It's nothing on that level, but I mean, it's not great. Turns out... Oh. Childhood friend of my dad's met us for lunch shortly after E3. He runs a small game dev studio. studio. He mentioned that his old friend Don just moved into town and maybe we should meet him if I'm ever interested in game development. Turns out Don was Don Madrick, who at the time just resigned from the head of Xbox after after the uh, horrendous E3. Tried to hold back a snicker as I knew firsthand how rough that was. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I would, I would have had a hard time myself. Or any Atari console after the 7800. I don't know, that 52 is pretty rough. 78 is not great either. I mean, I sat down uh, and played a 78 uh, on emulator and it was... Uh... God, still no money. Of course, I'm not a big Atari fan. I didn't grow up with them, so... Like, I didn't have a 2600 when I was a kid. I grew up with a... Uh, SNES, or with a NES. I never... I never did grow a love for Atari. That's unfortunate, because I've really wanted to like the games. I can see how they influenced a lot of people and I appreciate it for its uh, what it did to the gaming as a whole. This won't take long. Not at all. But it's not one that I personally enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to it. I respect Atari, but I haven't plugged mine in pretty much since I bought it. Yeah, it's just... 
It's appreciating it for what it was. It was the grandfather of the home console market. Like, if there was no Atari 2600, we would not have had uh, a NES or anything like that. Won't be tough. The, uh, I'm not saying that as far as... Uh, it's, it's not the granddaddy for consoles. Uh, or it's not the first console. Or whatever. I get that. The Odyssey was the first console. But as far as... I don't want to say being affordable, but it's one that got really popular in what drew home... Home video gaming home to everybody, for lack of a better term. Also, the entire foundation of whole consoles formed the massive failures of the 26. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the 2600 is the reason why the NES looked the way it did over here. Because the because 2600 oversaturated the video game scene in the minds of people. So what winds up happening is it's overinflated. And I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, Cloud. Assuming Cornea was but, telling us the truth, what do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, it being the market being flooded. But I can't imagine what it is. I also had Destroying a proper game licensing. Just yes. to get back at us doesn't make any That was to prevent sense. the market from getting yeah. flooded. I can't imagine any way that due to due to Atari it's gonna cost them a fortune mucking about like they did. Cornea's lying. He's gotta be. Guys like him they gave video games a bad name at that time. And in doing so, made it very hard for any kind of video game company to do anything. So, that's the reason why wherever Nintendo brought the NES over, they were like, we've really got to make sure this doesn't look like a, a video game console. It's not marketed as a video game console. It was marketed as a uh, Computer entertainment system. That's just another word for video game system. Locked up tight. But that's how they did the marketing, which is very smart. But not if we use the skeleton key Jesse made. Huh. Does this mean it's in the water? We'll see. Like it's so super interesting how the how the mess really came to be. That's a power generator, all right. Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique, older than the Mako reactors even. It'd be a miracle if it still works. Are we fitting to find out? Let us not forget the heckin' robot. Dude, Still to this day, I want to rob the robot. Like, I know it's used for only a couple games. He's so doofy. But, I like the design. Hey, would you look at that? I mean, if, if one thing brings to mind Ness, it's Rob. I'd still love to get a complete one and play Gyromite with it, cause I, even though I know it's just pointless. Still, still neat. I love the design. Rob was my profile pick for years. I can see that. Rob's... Rob is very cool. I know a person in my area who has five for sale. Dang! He sells sells it with the games. 
I have one, but it's missing all the accessories. I was shocked to see them. They were in mint condition, really. Those things are actually worth a fair bit of bank now. I got it with a five screw gyromut, which has the Famicom adapter in it. That's neat. Yeah, I'd like to own one, but I doubt I'll ever one really have the have the room. Try to stay behind me. Because I've got a bunch of stuff anyway. Here we go. But they are very very, very cool. I guess I'm just about to burn this on again. Call the fire. And we're safe. All of them has his stuff. I just never got around to asking how much he was selling them for. Probably, probably a fair bit. You're probably talking uh, over a hundred bucks at the very least. I do remember this puzzle.